As you can see, 5.30 in the morning. As soon as I wake up, show gratitude to God, you know, just to be here, just, you know, be thankful for just allowing him to, you know, just for another day of life, you know what I'm saying? And then straight to the affirmations. And then these things start with I am, I will. I have about like eight of them that I say continuously for about like five seconds. My bed is made. Just continue to, you know, just feed positive stuff in your brain because you're naturally going to become a product of whatever you tell yourself. And then, of course, within action, what you do. I don't disclose mine specifically, but again, whatever you guys want to be, whoever you guys want to be, whoever you guys are, make sure you tell yourself consistently every single day. I am this. I will be this. You get what I'm saying? How you speak to yourself is extremely important, especially in the morning. If you haven't seen my previous videos, it's in through your nose and you're filling your, you're filling your stomach with air, you're expanding your stomach, then you're releasing. And you're doing that for 30 breaths. On the last breath, you want to hold for 60 seconds, for three sets. Now I'm telling you, this is really vital. This is very important for your morning routine. So after, I go straight to, you know, salt, salt hydrates the body. If not, you're just drinking water. Shout out to Essentia, though. And also shout out to my guy, Coconut Coat. This is for the gut, you know, without a happy, healthy gut, you will not have a happy, healthy you. So I just started implementing this into my daily routine as well, first thing in the morning. I'm gonna go hydrate the body with salt. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Your gut determines how you feel, how you think, just overall everything. So check him out with the coconut coat. It really, I've seen a tremendous difference. You just take two scoops. And this has to be my favorite flavor. If you guys don't know what siete is, but I also eat the siete chips with uh, just anything with my quinoa in the morning and my grass fed ground beef. Siete chips, siete is a really, really, you know, well, well ran company, you know, limited ingredients. They don't really add any you know, unnecessary things that harm your, you know, your body, like seed oils. Seed oils are extremely bad. And most chips that you guys do eat have plenty of seed oils, uh, sunflower, rapeseed, just all that. You want to stay away from all those, the, the, the type of oils that you want to be, you know, implementing within you. what you eat would be avocado oil, um, olive oil, extra, extra virgin olive oil. And then for butters, like grass-fed butter is good, um, ghee butter, just those type of things. Stay away from seed oil.
workout one out the way. Um, and God, that's what it takes, man, to get up every day regardless of how you feel. Today was another day where I just didn't want to do anything because my body's hurt, my body's sore, you know, and I have that, that, that one side of my brain telling me, nah, you're good, like, you're too tired, you go back to sleep. Then the other side kicked in last minute, like, nah, get the, get, this is what we do, like, get up. This is what we do every day, you know? And that's success right there. Being stronger than your emotions, controlling your emotions, you know, being stronger than how you feel is what's gonna really lead you to wherever you're trying to go. Now we're about to, you know, uh, do our normal breath work for three minutes to, you know, get our bodies in that parasympathetic mode to prepare for, you know, reading, watching film, and then we right back in the court at 12. No, at 12.30. Yeah, right back on the court at 12.30. And yeah, we're gonna take this cold shower, get right to it. Look, the timer has started. Put it all the way down. I'm not gonna lie, I hate these things so much. But, again, you gotta do everything you hate in this life to really grow mentally. And once you unlock that mental side, everything becomes so easy. Usually I just warm my body up at first with hot water and then five minutes of straight cold water. I've gotten used to it, but it's still a, it's still a tough task to complete every day. If you tell yourself you can't, you can't. If you tell yourself you can, you will, and I promise you. I promise you you will. Just do it, that's it. It's a thought at first, and then action has to be put behind that thought. And consistency over time is what leads to success. I'm telling you guys, that simple. It's a thought with intentions, with real good intentions behind everything you're doing. Not just doing it just to say you did it. Remember what I'm telling you guys. I'm giving you guys a blueprint. I'm showing you what I do literally every single day. Every single day. For those who don't know what that is, the breathing that we just finished is called 7-Eleven breathing. The whole workout is in through your nose and out through your nose. So um, seven seconds in through your nose and you're expanding your stomach at the same time and 11 seconds out through your nose and you're releasing that air. I learned that from PJF. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, check him out on Instagram, PJF Performance. Now we're gonna get to reading. This is, this is a really, really good book. I'm actually almost finished with it. As you can see, it's called The Five Levels of Leadership by John Maxwell. And after this, we go straight to film and we break our fast at 12 and we on our way to the gym and that completes our morning routine. You probably heard the saying, when a person with money meets a person with experience. A person with experience usually gets the money and a person with money gets the experience. As an experienced leader, you can identify potential leaders. You can figure out what kinds of experiences they need. And you can help to provide them in a controlled environment where their failures and fumbles won't completely take them out of the game of leadership. Can you identify the experiences that taught you invaluable leadership lessons and shaped you as a person and a leader? I certainly can. This is something that's very important as well, making sure, you know, you athletes, you basketball players are rolling the bottom of your feet. It's like having a car. Um, with no tires, like a vehicle having no tires. So you wanna make sure you're doing this, you're implementing this also into your routine. Definitely take care of your feet. I promise you it's extremely important, extremely vital for us athletes. I do a minute each side. Another extremely important thing that I do, I work on my toes. So this right here is a toe stretch, especially with the big toes. A lot of us, when we run, we don't use our toes. So it's 40 seconds, just like this, just putting pressure into that big toe. Then 20 seconds, tensing up and actually, you know, putting some pressure into it to strengthen that big toe for 20 seconds. And then repeat on both sides. This is extremely important as well. A lot of basketball players got to work on their toes, their toe strength, developing strength and using that big toe to push off. Because a lot of people don't do this as they run, they don't use their toes, their big toe. <laughs>
This is the most important as a basketball player. If you're not doing this day in and day out, watching film and really studying, you know, how deceptive NBA players or just certain reads off a of pick and roll or the change of pace, just overall anything. If you're not doing this every day as a basketball player, you're not serious and you're not trying to really go to the next level. This is something that I do every single day for hours. Like literally. Now I just recently started watching more NBA. Um, and it just happens to be that two of the guys I've been watching the most, Kyrie, just how deceptive he is. You know, how he's just never really showing where, what he's going to do, where he's going to go. And then he just, you know, ends up doing something different every single time. Um, and then also Jalen Brunson, just his change of pace and just how he doesn't have to be extremely fast to get the job done. It just shows you right here. He's a, he's, he's a perfect example. So, yeah, I've been watching a lot of highlights recently, honestly, um, just the NBA. And then I go on Synergy, and I sit there, and I break down film, you know, certain reads. As a basketball player, if you want the game to really, really slow down for you, you need to be watching film every single day. Studying sets, um, just looking at how, you know, what they look at specifically when coming off a ball screen, and just overall how deceptive a lot of these players are. I'll give you guys um, a few players that I watch consistently as of recently. Um, Tyler Ulis Erwes, uh, Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brunson, Fred Van Vliet. These are guys that I watch consistently all the time. You know, um, And they show you why. You know, They've been in the league for a while it's because of what they do on the court and how they they use more of their brain instead of, you know, trying to be the most athletic on the court. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just being deceptive and really using their brain, you know, to, to be successful in the sport and to last in the sport. Pace, pace, pace. You want to be a pro, you got to be able to play with pace. You want to be a pro, you have to be able to play with pace. It's a must. But film is vital. Every day, you guys should be watching an hour, at least an hour. So this is how we always break our fast. This is grass-fed ground beef. We got eggs. So I get a half cup of this, which is 24 grams of protein, six grams per egg. And then this is my favorite, frozen fruit. You got strawberries, bananas, blueberries. And I top it with some honey, cinnamon, peanut butter, which only ingredient is peanuts. There was some protein powder and of course water. Pretty much a blueprint for you guys that really want to, you know, take your life and just overall your life and just your health to a whole nother level. This is what it looks like. Get to it, man. Let's go. Boo. This is what the final products look like. We have a half cup of grass-fed ground beef, two eggs. Then we have a cup and a half of frozen fruit peanut butter, cinnamon, dark chocolate chips, honey, and protein powder. This is how we're gonna break our fast. Shout out to Essentia, man.